In an image series, the lighting conditions often change from one image to the next. In the example we're going to look at in this video, at the beginning of the series the images have been captured in twilight with Venus and the Moon in the center. Then night falls, but the light from the Moon continues to illuminate the whole sky. As the Moon gets closer to the horizon, the sky takes on a reddish hue until it eventually turns dark. In an image series like this one, we can't adjust all the histograms in the same way because the histograms change as we move through the series. We therefore need a histogram adjustment that adapts to the changing lighting conditions. To achieve this, we need to emulate what the STF does. To calculate the automatic screen contrast adjustment, the STF uses different midtones and shadows clipping points for each image based on the statistics of each one. As the statistics change, so too do the midtones values. We're going to reproduce this in pixel math using this function. As you can see, the function has two parameters, aggressiveness and sky background. We can control these in the symbols tab. These parameters work in the same way as they do when we configure the auto stretch. In pixel math, we always use a positive aggressiveness and a positive sky background too. When the aggressiveness value is close to zero, the stretch is more aggressive. Let's test some values in this image. If we give it a value of negative 0.3, the corners and the horizon turn completely black because we've increased the contrast too much. If we decrease the sky background value but keep the same aggressiveness, the only thing we change is the illumination level. These two parameters in pixel math control the image in exactly the same way as the STF parameters. This process stretches the image in an adaptive way, adjusting to the lighting conditions in each image. Before we do this, we need to neutralize the sky background. We're going to base this neutralization on one of the images where the sky is totally dark because the sky background here is slightly red. And we're going to apply this sky background correction to the whole image series, meaning that we can keep the blue hue of twilight as well as the light from the moon. For image series like this, it's a good idea to open a few images at different points in the series and test the process on them. First, we're going to test the sky background neutralization. We select the reference image and apply it to the other three. As you can see, the neutralization preserves the blue from the twilight. Now we're going to adjust the stretch. For example, let's change these values to 1 and 0 0.15. We need to disable the STF so that we don't apply a double stretch. If we want the sky background to be lighter, we can change this to 0 0.25. With this value, we can see the information on the ground better. In this case, the aggressiveness parameter isn't critical, but if we increase it a lot, we may go too far. Let's set it to 1. 
As you can see, we're testing all the processes by applying them to images at different points in the series, and we always return the sky background reference image to its initial state. Now we're going to apply a curves adjustment, in this case to increase the color saturation. And again, we're going to test the process on all the other images. If we're happy with these steps in the processing sequence, we can now resize the image for 4K resolution. Now we can save the process container and configure the image container. Finally, we configure the output prefix using the count template and JPEG format and select the output directory. Now we can execute the process. Here we have the result of this processing sequence with the adaptive stretch.